Well, I am in the apartment that is in the northeast corner of this building. This is the bedroom that was in that apartment. And then here behind me, if you remember, that was a bathroom. And this second room here was an individual hotel room that I speculate has been split in half and made into two bathrooms to service two opposing apartments on this north side of the apartment building. Well, in these bathrooms, they all have the old style cast iron tubs. And I am going to remove these and put in shower stalls in their stead. And there's a couple of reasons as to why. So because this was a single hotel room that was split in half, both bathrooms are fairly small. And I apologize for the echo in this, in this room. But here to my left, as, as you walk into the door, is where the, the tub was. And initially, when I got this building, there was not a shower in it. But I rented this out to a couple of 20-year-old young men. And, you know, guys generally don't like to take showers. Get out of this echo here for you. So anyway, I put in this, this wall to the head of this bathtub and converted it into shower accessible. Well, on the north side of this building is the window that correlated with this room. So this is where the tub is, and I converted this into shower. But oddly enough, there's a window right here at the head of this bathtub. Well, I have put blinds in this window to close that up. You know, but it's kind of a funky deal. Second floor, so, you know, take that for whatever. But I want to take this out and convert this into a shower stall that will be a little more private from this window. So, I guess these tubs are pretty heavy. I have looked online, surprise, surprise, YouTube, and it looks like the easiest way to remove these is to actually cut them into two or three pieces. So I think that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove my fixtures because they're going to have to get moved anyway for the shower. I'm going to bring a, my little oscillating tool, cut the sheetrock above this, then I've got a grinder that you've seen me use in the shop a number of times with a cutoff wheel in it. Not the safest thing, but that's just the way it is. So I'll have to figure out how to get this, this drain disconnected. I may cut around it. We'll see how it goes. And we'll go into the bathroom, which is right across this wall, which is to the apartment that would be on the, the northwest corner of this building. And so these two tubs are actually back to back. So that one doesn't have a window because of the window is in this bathroom from this hotel room. So the other bathroom is actually more confining and dark and dreary than this one. So this is the bathroom to the Northwest apartment. And it's kind of dark and dreary in here on the back corner because there is no light, no window, just the one that is here over the sink. So I'm really thankful again for this Makita workstation light that's going to help me light this up. And I'll try to show you what this back bathtub is like. It's really tight. Now there's probably 18 inches maybe here. You see? about all there is to get in here. So this is the tub and it also, before I got this, had been into a shower. Now I see there's quite a little bit of flicker on this. I didn't realize LED lights flickered so bad like fluorescents do and I apologize for that. I don't know how I can adjust that on this GoPro camera. But I've got to take the tub surround out of this and, and try to, well, I will remove this cast iron tub here. So my goal with this, when I remove this tub, I'm going to put a shower on the end of this wall here facing the rest of the bathroom. It'll be much more accessible. I'll have to do a little changing of my plumbing a bit and the drain will have to be moved over about three feet, but I think that's a doable. So the, the facing wall 
to this tub has a sheet that's put in that's removable that I can access the plumbing, which is kind of nice. I'll be able to remove that. This whole wall is going to end up coming out. This is where the shower head is on the opposite side. So I'm going to take this wall out and cut apart this tub as well. And then the, the shower would be going into this far wall, into this corner, and the door will open whichever direction it does to this. It'll make this bathroom much more pleasant to use. Oh, I'm going to just remove this overflow here, and then I've got the, the set screw in this tub spout loosened up. So we'll get it. Out of the way. There we go. I might remove some some of this drywall. Might go up three or four inches. I've got an oscillating saw here that maybe I'll cut that off. I've got some kind of a vinyl surround on this that'll have to come off. Maybe I should do that first. I suppose these faucets will have to come out anyway. You have all the water shut off to the north side of this building. So when I installed this surround, I did glue it to the sheetrock, so I'm not sure how well it's going to come off. Oh, not too bad. Because this face, this window, I did take a sheet of kind of a plexiglass and tried to keep some of the moisture off of this window. Well, I did take this piece of plywood out. There's the old plaster underneath it. I think it goes right probably to the brick wall. Now I've got the thing loose. And I'm just not sure how to get that out. There, there's no cross in it. Otherwise, I could build a tool to unthread it. I don't know if I can take a cold chisel and try to get underneath that and then maybe get a lip up where we could get that out. I think I could scoot it by this overflow. I might see if I can't bend this lip up and maybe get a channel lock or some vice grips or something on that to see if I can get that unthreaded. I'll we'll have the drain loose and I can pry this end up on the back end underneath the window. But the tub is underneath the plaster that was originally put in. And the front is really tied up against this, this framed wall. I don't want to take this framed wall out. 
So I think, even though I have this drain out, I think I'm probably going to cut this at least in half, maybe in thirds. I might come across through here. There's a stud there so I can get in through here and across. And if I could get this back end up, I could take it out in two. But I think maybe I'm going to have to come here to take it out in thirds, relieve the ends so they could come in and I can get them out. Looks like that's my option, short of tearing out this plaster and moving this wall. And it seems kind of a shame to, to ruin a good tub. We grew up with these type of tubs as water troughs for stock water. I thought maybe I could save it for that, but not that I need it, but you know, scotch, I guess. Well, there's just no way around it. This is a job. I did start out with my cutoff wheel to open it up, but I didn't like the amount of sparks that it was throwing. I know this is cast iron and the dull sparks, less likely to start a fire, but still, I did keep a fire extinguisher handy here, but I have the water turned off to the side. So just precautionary. So I did go to my Diablo blades on my Sawzall or reciprocating saw and did finish that. I did get some track in the floor because I didn't really know how far away the, the floor of this tub was from, from the wood floor. Well, it doesn't end up being but about maybe three quarters of an inch, inch max. So I had some tracks. You can see right about here my blade on my saw was bouncing off the floor and I could kind of feel that so I was trying to keep it up off but I did leave a track in here not a super big deal but uh, this exposes all my drain pipe stuff I have a bit of cold air coming up from here I'll probably take some insulation and just plug that off for the time being but across this wall as you can see there's my other tub. This is a tub that's on the bathroom just across from this wall. So this is that tub right there. So you see the back end of this tub was put right up against the original plaster. It's still there. It's a little crumbly here, but I can patch that. We're right up against the brick here. But I'll refill that up. And then this was furred out just a bit and sheetrocked off. And I'll go ahead and do the same again. So my tentative plan is that the shower would go right in here, probably a 32 inch. Might have to adjust this drain just to fuzz maybe. The plumbing is already in the wall. I'll just have to raise it up, put a new faucet and controls. I think that'll be a doable deal. So this should expose all the plumbing to the shower. I guess this was sheetrocked and then they ran into problems somehow and had to open this up and then just put a cover sheet on it, huh? Well, I think this whole wall is going to come out eventually, so it's not a big deal. So out of the, what, 19 years that we've had this building, this is the one bathroom that I never have changed out these vinyl surrounds, so it's well overdue to come out anyway. Looks like it's been glued on.
thinking all this valve assembly is going to disappear. Well, I'm kind of thinking I might get this out in one piece. Get all my drains loose. With this wall out of the way, I might be able to move it this way. I only need about a half inch before I can lay it out this direction. It's kind of loose. I don't know how much it weighs. Got a little flexibility here if I can come out. Oh, I'm up against this corner right there. That's my problem. against my plaster down there. I don't know if I'm mad enough to pick this up or not. That's a heavy rascal. So, maybe I can slide it, get it past the stool. Uh, I suppose I gotta put it up on the end. Well, it's out. You know, you go to sandwich shops oftentimes and they'll ask you, do you want a half or a whole? Well, today we got both. So anyway, I got a little mess to clean up, but that's not the big deal. The biggest deal was getting these things out. So this makes two. Overall, I've got five that I want to do eventually. Don't know just how fast that'll happen, but I suppose each one will be a little different. It's nice that this one came out. I might have to rustle up some help to get these down the stairs, we'll see. Anyway, appreciate you following along.